Karnataka, the eighth largest state in India, has been ranked as the third most popular state in the country for tourism in 2014. It is home to 507 of the 3,600 centrally protected monuments in India, the largest number after Uttar Pradesh. The State Directorate of Archaeology and Museums protects an additional 752 monuments and another 25,000 monuments are yet to receive protection. Tourism centers on the ancient sculptured temples, modern cities, the hill ranges, forests and beaches. Broadly, tourism in Karnataka can be divided into four geographical regions, North Karnataka, the hill stations, coastal Karnataka and South Karnataka. The Karnataka government has recently introduced the Golden Chariot, a train which connects popular tourist destinations in the state and Goa. North Karnataka North Karnataka has monuments that date back to the 5th century. Kannada empires that ruled the Deccan had their capitals here. Badami Shaluka's monuments are located at Patadakal, Ihol and Badami. Ihol has been called the cradle of Indian architecture and has over 125 temples and monuments built between 450 and 1100 BC. Rashtrakuta monuments at Lokapura, Bilgi and Kukanur and Kalyani Shaluka's monuments built in Gadig style of architecture at Lakundi, Gadig, Atagi in Kapil district and the Vijayanagar Empire temples at Vijayanagara are some examples. Hampi in Bellary district has ruins spread over an area of 125 square kilometers. With some 54 World Heritage Monuments and 650 National Monuments see. An additional 300 monuments await protection. The Deccan Sultanate monuments at Bijapur and Gulbarga show unique and discrete Hindu influences and rival the Muslim monuments of North India. Archaeologically important locations like Sanati, Kanaganahalli in Gulbarga district have thrown more light on Buddhist centers of the 1st century BCE to 3rd century CE. The first ever statue of Emperor Ashoka with his queens and a Prakrit inscription Ryo Ashoka has been found. Badami surroundings important locations are Kudaasangama, Ihol, Patadakal, Mahakuta and Banashankari. Hampi surroundings region, they can be visited from Hampi, Hosapit, or from Hubli. There are Kukanur, Atagi, Gadig, Lakundi, Dambal, Haveri, Kaganali, Bankapura. <laughs> World Heritage Centers Hampi, Bellary district, the site of the capital of Vijayanagara 1336 and formerly the seat of the Vijayanagar Empire. Foreign visitors in the 15th and 16th centuries described Hampi as being bigger than Rome. The city was destroyed and deserted in 1565 by marauding Mughal invaders and its ruins now lie scattered over a 26 sqkm area south of the river Tungabhadra. The rocky area near Anagundi to the north of the river has been identified as Kishkinda of Ramayana times. Hampi is home to a 29-foot-tall monolithic Narasimha, which was installed by Krishnadevaraya in 1529. The remains of palaces and gateways can be seen. Group of 8th century CE monuments, Patadakal, located on the banks of the river Malaprabha. Patadakal was the second capital of the Chalukyas and contains examples of 7th and 8th century temple architecture. Four temples are in the South Indian Dravidian style, four in the North Indian Nagara style, and the last one, the Papanatha temple, represents a hybrid of the two styles. The oldest temples are the Sangamishwara, Malakarjuna, and Virapaksha temples. Topic. Historical locations Topic. Western Chalukya Ihol, a former Chalukya trading city. There are around 140 temples including examples of early Chalukya, Rashtrakuta and later Chalukya dynasties from the 6th to 12th centuries. It has a Jain and Vedic rock-cut shrine, both of about the 6th century. It has Tirthankara images and a Durga temple. The Meguti on a hill is a Jaina basti which has an eyehole inscription of Palakeshin II and also a Buddhist two-storied rock-cut shrine below it. All the other Jain and Buddhist temples are built of stone and resemble Hindu temples. 
The temples were built during the Middle Ages before any style was established, and hence there is a mixture of styles. Badami, the capital of the early Chalukyas in the 6th century, is at the mouth of a ravine between two rocky hills. The town is known for its cave temples, all carved out of sandstone hills. Badami have four caves, the cave temple dedicated to Vishnu is the largest. In front of the cave temple, there is a reservoir called Agastya Tirtha dotted with temples on its bank. Among them, two are dedicated to Vishnu, one to Shiva and the fourth is a Jain temple. Carvings in the cave temples display the Hindu gods, Narashima and Hari Hara. The temples also have paintings on the ceiling and bracket figures on the piers, Basavana Bhagawadi, it is 43 east of Bijapur. In the 12th century, Saint Basavishwara was born here. It was an Agrahara. The main temple here is in the Chalukya style and it was called as Sangamantha in records. The samadhis of Siddharameshwara and Gurupadeshwara of the Inchijeri school of spiritual pursuit are seen here. Basavakalyana, Bidar district, former capital of the later Chalukyas. It has an old fort renovated by the Bahamani containing an archaeological museum. Few Chalukya or Kalachuri remains exist except the Chalukya Narayanapur temple in the outskirts of the town. There is a modern Basavishwara temple, Prabhudavara Gaduj, jurist of the Kalyani Chalukyas period. Vijnaneshwara's cave, Madhavala Makya's pond, Akha Nagama's cave, fully renovated Sideshwara temple and a new structure called Anubhava Mantapa, the Kaji's mosque and Raja Bhag Sawar Darga, Anajari 30 km from Hubli, it has an Amriteshwara temple of the time of the Kalyani Chalukyas. It was the birthplace of great Kannada poet Pampa and there is a Jain Basadi of Parshwanatha. It was once a headquarters of Belvola 300. It was the capital of Chalukya Someshwara IV. In addition to Virashaiva Mathas, there is a ruined Banishankari temple and seven mosques and also an ancient Virabhadra temple. Bankapura 80 km from Darwad, under Chalukya many temples were raised in the city including the Nagareshwara temple in the fort and another Chalukya temple called Sideshwara. Ali Adilshahi destroyed many temples in about 1567. There is a mosque in the fort. Dambal, 21 km from Gadig, it was a Buddhist center. There are two notable Chalukya temples called Dadabhasapa Temple and Sumyushwara Temple. Dadabhasapa as polygonal star-shaped temple Garbhagriya and fine sculptural representations and huge Nandi temple. Someshwara could have been an old Basati. The temple has a 400-year-old vast tank. There is an old Gunapati image in old ruined fort. And we can also find a huge Gunapati image in a small shrine. Haveri, this town has Sideshvara temple that was built in the 12th century. Sideshvara temple situated in the heart of the city of Haveri, inside the well-maintained garden. Gadig, it is a twin city municipality and it is 55 km from Hubli Darward. It is a great center of Kalyani Shalukas art with the large Trikuteshwara temple. It has Sri Lakshmi Venkateshwara temple is situated at Venkatapura Talak near Sortir, Gadig district. Temple was renovated by Brahmananda Swami, a devotee of Gandavalikar Maharaj a sage from Gandavale. It was latter expanded by Kalyani Shalukas into a vast complex. The complex has triple shrines once housing Shiva, Brahma and Surya. The Saraswati temple has the shining decorative pillars, and the Saraswati image, and it is one of the largest examples of Shalukya art. The place has Someshwara and Rameshwara temples of Shalukya style. It has Viranarayana Temple of Chalukya times, Lakundi, 10 km from Gadig, Gadig district. There were 100 temples and 100 wells, but now few can be visited. These include Brahma Jinalaya, Kasavisvesvara, and Kalyani. Someshwara Temple Complex Lakshmishwar in the Shirahati Taluk, Gadig district, North Karnataka. The temple complex has the Someshwara Temple of Shiva along with so many Shiva temples inside the fort like compound. Galaganatha Galageshwara Temple is located in the Haveri district. The temple has big open hall and pyramidal shaped Garbagudi. The temple is situated along the Tungabhadra River. Chadayadanapura Mukteshwara Temple, near Ranabenor in Haveri district, North Karnataka Mahadeva Temple Atagi in the Kapil district, North Karnataka, built during 1112 CE. This temple is an example of Dravida articulation with a Nagara superstructure. This temple is also called Devaliyagala Chakravarti in Kannada Emperor among temples. Panchakuta Basadi, Kambadahali in Mandya district was built in 8th century. 
This temple is one of the finest examples of South Indian Dravidian architecture of the Western Ganga. Shambhulinga Temple, Kungal is about 15 km from Hubli Darwad. This place is famous for Hindustani music and huge Shambhulinga Temple, Huli Panchalingeshwara Temple. Lakshmishwar has Someshwara Temple complex, Jain Basadis. Kudasangama has Sangamanatha Temple, which belongs to Shalukya. It is a karma bhumi of Basavana. Kudasangama Development Authority has developed this place as one of the international tourism place. From Kudasangama Almati Dam is about 12 km, it has got North Karnataka's biggest rock garden. <laughs> Rashtrakuta dynasty Maukt, Gulbarga district Narigal, Gadig district Belgam fort Kadamba dynasty Halaseeth Place is in background of Western Ghats in lush, green atmosphere. It was the second capital of the Kadambas of Banavasi. The huge Bhuvaraha Narasimha Temple has tall images of Varaha, Narasimha, Narayana and Surya. Halasi has a fort and temples of Gokarnishwara, Kapileshwara, Swarnashwara and Hatakeshwara. Hangalhanagal was the capital of Hangal Kadambas, feudatories of Kalyani Shalukas. It was mentioned as Panangal in records and identified by tradition with Varatanagara of Mahabharatha days. It is on the left bank of the Dharma River. The Tarakeshwara temple here is a huge structure with series of images and polished tall Shalukya pillars. The other temples are Virabhadra, Bilishwara and Ramalinga etc. There is a Virashaiva Kumaraswami Matha here. Banavasia Banavasi was the capital of Kadambas. The place is on the bank of the Virata River and its laterite fort is surrounded by the river at its three sides. Ashoka is said to have sent his missionaries to Banavasa. Banavasi also contains Buddhist brick monuments. Chutu Prince Nagashri built a Buddhist vihara, a tank and installed a Naga image at the place according to a Prakrit record at the place. There is also a monument at Banavasi, Mudhukeshvara Temple and also Kadamba Nagara Shikara is seen on the Garbhagriya of this temple. Records here indicate that Buddhism and Jainism were popular. <laughs> Deccan Sultanates Bijapur, the former capital of the Adil Shahi kings 1489 Gol Gumbaz is the mausoleum of Muhammad Adil Shah and was built in 1659. It houses the world's second largest dome, unsupported by pillars. Malik e Maidan is a 55 ton cannon perched on a platform. The head of the cannon is fashioned into the shape of a lion whose jaws are trying to devour an elephant. Bidar, a center for Bidraware. It is the location of the tombs of 30 rulers, including the Chaukandi of Hazrat Khalil Ullah Shah and Sultan Ahmed Shah al Wali Bahamani from the Bahamani dynasty. Gulbarga Raichur Lakshmishwar, the Juma Masjid, built during the rule of Adil Shahi, has a large crowning onion dome and Quranic scripture written in gold. Radhas Sandati, the town proper has a fort on the hill built during the 17th century, by Sirasangi Desai, with eight bastions. It was the capital of Radhas who later shifted their headquarters to Belgaum. There are two temples of Inkeshwara, Puradeshwara, Malakarjuna, Venkateshwara and the Virabhadra. The Ranukasagar waters touch the outskirts of Sandati. Tourist attractions of this region are Huli Panchalingeshwara Temple, Ranuka Yalama Temple, Sandati Fort, Parasgad Fort, Navilatirtha. <laughs> Places of worship Davala Ganagapura, it is the second incarnation of Lord Dadatriya away from Afzalpur Taluk around 25 km, Gulbarga district, it is 651 km from Bangalore. Sri Narasimha Saraswati stayed here for a long time and was granted a jagir by the Bahmani Sultan. The Sultan believed that the saint had cured him of a large boil. The saint is treated by his followers as an incarnation of Dadatriya. The saint has cured the Sultan of a serious boil. The saint is treated as an incarnation of Dattatriya and devotees from Maharashtra and Karnataka. It is a very holy place. 
Topic: Jain Basadis. Jainism has a long history in Karnataka. Belgam district has the Kamala Basadi in Chalukya style in the Belgam fort. The ancient center Tavanidi near Nippani and newly created center at Shedbul, where 24 Tirthankaras in white marble have been installed in a cluster. The Chalukyas of Badami built cave temples at Badami, Padadkal and Ihole. Polije was a strong center of religious activities of the Jain monks during this era. Lakundi in Gadig district has a large Brahma Jinalaya of Chalukya style, built by a noble lady, Adamabi. Navagraha Jain temple at Varu near Hubli is one of the major pilgrimage. The temple features a 61 feet .6 meters tall monolithic idol of the Sri 1008 Bhagavan Parshvanatha and the smaller statues of the other eight Jain Tirthankaras. Buddhist temples Tara Bhagavati temples, Balagavi, Sharakapa, Kolawada and Dambal, Gadig district, Sanati and Kanaganahalli, Gulbarga district. Remains of the raised stupas and a Buddhist plaques of Satavahana period were unearthed recently. Ihole, Viharas, Badami Buddhist remains from the Badami Shalukas period were found between caves 2 and 3. Mungad, Uttara Kannada, Tibetan settlements with multi-colored stupas and painted prayer halls Gulbarga, two new viharas <inaudible> Shiva temples Gokarna is a great all India centre where the Atmalinga of Shiva, brought by Ravana is believed to have been installed. Nearby is Marudeshwar where a huge modern Shiva temple in Dravidian style has been raised, renovating an ancient shrine. Both the places are on the seashore in Uttara Kannada. At Hampi is the Virapaksha temple, venerated by generations of poets, scholars, kings and commoners. The Shiva temple at Kudaisangama in Bagalkot district is associated with Saint Basavishwara. Equally remarkable pieces of art are the Virapaksha and the Malakarjuna at Patadakal in Bagalkot dt. The Virashivas have many venerated places, either associated with Basavishwara or his contemporaries. Basavana Bhagawadi was his place of birth and Kudala Sangama the place of his spiritual practices, are in Bijapur and Bagalkot dts. The latter is at the confluence of the river Krishna and the Malaprabha. Basava Kalyana Kalyani, the ancient Chalukya capital in Bidar district was the place where he conducted his socio-religious movement. Ulavi in Uttara Kannada, a quiet place amidst forests, has the samadhi of Chenabasavana, Basavishwara's nephew. Belgami Balagavi, the Chalukya art center in Shimoga DT, is identified as the birthplace of Alama Prabhu and Yuduthadi near it, is the native place of Akka Mahadevi. Later Virashiva saints are associated with many places. Kodekal, Gulbarga DT, Basavana Temple, Katakula Madhavalaja Matha, Sharana Basavishwara Temple and Dasoha Matha Gulbarga are few more places of worship. Athani has the samadhi of the Virashiva Saint Shivayogi. Some of the outstanding Virashiva Mathas are seen at Naganur near Bailhangal and Kalmatha in Belgaum, Duradundeshwara Matha at Arabavi and Mahantaswami Matha at Murgad are in Belgaum DT. Maruga Matha Darwad, Anadanishwara Matha Mundargi, Tantadarya Matha at Gadig and Dambal, Morasavira Matha at Hubli, Maruga Matha and Hukari Matha Haveri, Taralabalu Matha at Sirije, Marugarajendra Matha at Chitradurga, Banthanala Shivajogi Matha at Chattachan and Mahantaswami Matha Ilkal are equally notable. The Samadhi of Sharanabhasapa Appa at Gulbarga. Shakti Stala The following places are visited by devotees of Shakti Chandralamba, Sanati, Gulbarga Bhagyawanti, Gadaragi Mayava, Chinchli Yelama, Sandati Banashankari, Badami, Bagalkot District Bhuvaneshwari, Hampi Viradahali, Sagara, Karnataka Saigandar, Sagara, Karnataka Marikumba, Sagara, Karnataka Marikumba, Sursi, Uttara Kannada Durga Parameshwari Katil, Dakshina Kannada Mukambika Kalor, Udupi District Mysore Karnataka, Mysore District
Topic: <laughs> Temple tanks. Agastya Tirtha, Badami Mahakuta group of temples near Badami Banashankari near Badami Lakundi near Gadag Hampi. Topic: <laughs> Coastal Karnataka. Coastal Karnataka is the stronghold of Hindu and Jain pilgrimage spots with Udupi and its many temples being the center of Dvaita philosophy. Gokarna is known for Vedic studies. Sringeri has the first of the Shankaracharya mathas and is important for its Advaita philosophy. Karkala and Mudabidri are well known places of Jain worship and Vaishnava rituals. Exquisite Vijayanagar temples built in Chalukya, Malabar region combinational style are seen in Bhatkal, Kumta, Shirali, etc. The warm beaches of Karnataka are mostly unspoiled. Jambati, 20 km southwest of Belgaum, has popular evergreen hilltop forests. Karnataka is blessed with over 300 km of pristine coastal stretch. Netrani island of Uttara Kannada is known for coral reefs. St. Mary's Island, a few kilometers from Udupi has basalt rock formations. Sunny beaches at places like Malp, Murdeshwara, Maravanth, Gokarna, Kumta have spectacular mountains to the east. Agumbe, Kodachadri Hills, Kemingundi, are just a few of many hill stations that straddle the coast providing tourists sun and greenery. Unlike many crowded hill stations in South India, the hill stations of Karnataka are still mostly undiscovered and pristine. Gokarna, the coastal town of Gokarna is a pilgrimage centre as well as a centre of Sanskrit learning, 56 kilometres from Karwar. It has the Mahabalaswar temple with the Atmalinga dedicated to Shiva. There is an enormous chariot, which is taken out in a procession on Shiva's birthday in February. The Tambraparni Tirtha here is considered sacred to perform obsequies of the dead. There is a beach called Om Beach. Udupi, one of the holy place and it is 58 km from Mangalore. The Krishna temple here is founded by Acharya Madhwa during the 14th century. He founded eight mathas to conduct the services of Lord Krishna in turns. Paryaya festival is held once in two years in January. The place has Kadiali Durga temple, Ambalapati Shakti temple, Raghavendra matha and the Venkataraman Swami temple. Malp is the port near here. It has a beach and the Vatabandeshwara temple of Balarama. Thantradi, one of the holy place and it is 22 km from Udupi. The Brahmasthana temple here founded by Sri Ramana Bari. It was an Astabanda Brahma. The main archaka of this temple is Nagaraj Bari. Karkala, 50 km from Mangalore and 20 km from north of Mudabidir, is Karkala, an important center of Jainism. There are several temples and a 17 meters high statue of Bahabali Gomateshwara, situated on a small hill. The statue is a naked figure reached by a flight of rock-cut steps. Some of the temples are Chitramukha Basti 1587, Naminatha Basti, Ananthapamanabha Temple 1567 dedicated to Vishnu, and Venkatamana Temple Padutirapati. Venor, situated 50 km nay of Mangalore, has eight Bastis and ruins of a Mahadeva temple. The largest of them is the 17 C Kali Basti, dedicated to Shantinatha. There is a Gomateshwara monolith, 11 m high dating back to 1604 in Venor. Malp Beach, situated 66 km north of Mangalore, near Manipal. It has a tourist beach. The uninhibited St. Mary's Island, accessible by boat, has a beach and an impressive geological formation of basalt rock pillars into the sea. Dharmastala, situated 75 km from Mangalore, Dharmastala is an attractive site surrounded by forested hills, rice fields and by the river Netravati on all sides. The Manjanatha Temple here is a pilgrim center. A monolithic statue of Bahabali 14 meters high was erected here in 1973. Visitors are provided with free boarding and lodging by the temple authorities. There is a small museum, Manjusha Museum located opposite to the temple. There are two temple chariots covered in wooden figures and all types of religious objects including carved and painted panels, bronze sculptures and bells. Kalore, 147 km from Mangalore, the temple of goddess Mukambika is located here on top of Kodachadri Hill, at the foot of the Western Ghats. The goddess takes the form of a Jyotirlinga incorporating aspects of Shiva and Shakti. It is a pilgrimage center attracting lot of devotees. 
Mudabidra, situated 35 km from Mangalore, Mudabidir has Jain temples known as Bastis. There are 18 Bastis, the oldest and the largest is the Chandranatha Basti with its 1,000-pillared hall. The Jain Matha near the entrance has an important collection of manuscripts. Other shrines worthy of mention are Shantinatha, Setara, Dharama Seti Basti, Guru Basti, Kote and Vikrama Seti Basti. Bhatkal, located 135 km from Karwar was the main port of Vijayanagar Empire in the 16th century. The ancient town has temples of Vijayanagar style and many Jain monuments. The 17th century Hindu temple here in Vijayanagar style has animal carvings. 16 km away is the shore temple of Sri Murdeshwar. The temple attracts a lot of devotees and tourists. Hanavar, situated 90 km from Karwar, has a Portuguese fort. There is also a fort in Basavaraja Durga Island, amidst the sea which can be reached by a sail upstream on River Sharavathi. Ankola, located 37 km south of Karwar, is a small town with 15th-century ruined walls of King Sarpamalika's fort and the ancient Sri Venkataraman temple. Near the temple there are two giant wooden chariots carved with scenes from the Ramayana. Marudeshwar, the Marudeshwar temple in Uttara Kannada district of Karnataka now possesses at 249 feet Raja Gopura. The Marudeshwar temple complex is renowned for the tallest idol of Lord Shiva in the world, which is 123 feet. The latest addition to the temple, thanks to Mr. R. N. Shetty an entrepreneur and philanthropist, is the Rajagopuram, which was opened on 12 April 2008. And is it the tallest Hindu temple Gopuram in the world? If Gopuram can be considered as a unique ornate structure associated with Hindu temples, then the Gopura of Marudeshwar Temple in Karnataka should be the tallest in the world. The Rajagopuram of Marudeshwar Temple has 21 floors, including the ground floor. The base measures 105 feet in length and 51 feet breadth. The Gopura also possess a lift, and visitors can go to the top and have an aerial view of the Arabian Sea and the statue of Lord Shiva. Another highlight is the life-size statues of two elephants at the base of the Gopura, world's tallest Shiva idol. The highlights of Marudeshwar lie beyond its beach and rural flair. On a little green hill, a 37 meters or 123 feet Lord Shiva idol sits enthroned, surrounded by smaller statues illustrating moments of the Hindu mythology. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Beaches. Karwar has a number of beaches like Blue Lagoon Beach, Ladies Beach around it and Rabindranath Tagore described his experiences at Karwar Beach in his poetry. Om Beach, Murdeshwara are other beaches of Uttara Kannada Dist. The Netherani Island near Murdeshwara. Basavaraja Durga near Hanavar is an island fort raised by the Kaladi rulers during 16th and 17th centuries. It is surrounded by a strong fortification raised by gigantic laterite blocks and the hill has a flat top. Devagad and Kermagad are two islands near Karwar. Nirvana Beach at Kajal village of Kumta is a 5 km long beach in one stretch with white sand and transparent water in the month of December till March. The entire beach coastline is covered by casuarina and coconut trees, unparalleled to any beach of India, and has the big potential to develop beach tourism like the Baga Kalingut Kandalam Beach of Goa. Government of Karnataka and Tourism Department has failed in tapping this potential, whereas Goa has left Karnataka much behind in beach tourism. There is an urgent need to do something in this direction to allow beach tourism on the same model of Goa in the months of September to May. <laughs> Planetarium Swami Vivekananda Planetarium, situated at Pilakula in Mangalore, it is the first 3D planetarium in India. <laughs> South Karnataka South Karnataka is a unique combination of spectacular Vesara-style Hoysala architecture, colossal Jain monuments, colonial buildings and palaces of the Kingdom of Mysore, impregnable fort at Chitradurga and densely forested wildlife sanctuaries that offer some of the best eco-tourism available in the country. 
Baylor, Halebidu in Hassan district, Somnathpura in Mysore district, Belavadi, Kalasa and Amrathapura in Chikmagalar district, Balagavi in Shimoga district offer some of the best of Hoysala architecture dating from the 11th to 13th centuries, while Shravanabelagola in Hassan district and Kambadahalli in Mandya district have well-known 10th century Jain monuments. Scenic forests and the high density of wild animals of this region are a popular attraction for those interested in the wilder side of life. Bandipur National Park, Nagarahol, Bailarirangan Hills, Bhadra Wildlife Sanctuary and Banargata National Parks are a few popular places for jungle safaris. The river Kaveri flows east from Kodagu district and along its way one finds important tourist destinations like Shivanasamudra and nearby Savasamudram Falls, Srirangapatana and Melkote etc. Mysuru, the cultural capital of the state is home to palaces, colonial buildings and cultural activities including Carnatic music, theatre. Bengaluru the capital is a cosmopolitan city with parks, pubs, restaurants, shopping and fast-paced technology rich lifestyle. Bengaluru, the capital of Karnataka has many tourist attractions. Mandya, is a city, sugar factories contribute majorly to the economy of the city. The Mandir of Sri Shirdi Sai Baba popular amongst local Sai devotees as Mandiyada Sri Sharadi Sai Baba Mandir is situated at B. Gaudajar, Gejalajar village amidst picturesque natural surrounding in Mandya district of Karnataka. The Mandir is situated at a distance of about 9.3 km from Madur town and about 12 km from Mandya town on Bangalore-Mysore State Highway. All the buses playing on Bangalore Mysore route stops at B. Gaudajar Sai Baba Mandir entrance situated on the highway. The temple is situated at a distance of just one kilometer from the main road. The Mandir is lovingly addressed by everyone as Nama Tadathana Main, our grandfather's home. Baylor, home to the Hoysala Temple complex. The Chenakishava temple here was completed in 1116 by Hoysala Vishnuvardhana. The image is 3.7 meters tall and the temple standing on a platform has exquisite plastic art work on its outer walls and bracket figures of dancing girls in various poses in perfect proportion. There are shrines of Kap Chenaga Andal, Samawa Nayaki etc. The temple here is a classic example of Hoysala art, and Baylor was one of the Hoysala capitals. Halebidu, it is 27 kilometers from Hassan, was capital of Hoysala and it was formerly called as Dwarasamudra. It has one of the finest Hoysala temples said to have been started by Ketamala, a commander of Vishnuvardhana in 1121. The twin Shiva temples, Hoysalaswara temple and Kedareshwara temple with a common platform and two garbhagrihas, one houses for Vishnuvardhana Hoysaleshwara Linga and the other for Shantaleshwara Linga. In front of Hoysaleshwara is the Nandimantapa and behind that is Shrine of Surya with a two-meter tall image. Outer walls have rows of intricate figures narrating episodes from epics like Ramyana, Mahabharata, and Bhagavata. There are also three Jain Basadas equally rich in architecture. The temples are proposed to be listed under UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Arasikure, it is 41 km from Hassan and 176 km from Bangalore. It has coconut gardens. There is a Katameshwara temple here which is also called Chandramulashwara and referred to as Kalmeshwara in the records. It is a fine Hoysala monument with a rare polygonal frontal mantapa with special design. There is a fine Haluvakalu temple and also a Sahasrakuta Jinalaya. Malekal Tirupati near Arasikure has a Venkatamana temple visited by many devotees. Aralagup, there is a Kalashwara temple in the Ganga Nalamba style of the 9th century. Its ceiling has a dancing Shiva sculpture with musical accompanists and eight Dikpalas surrounding him with all their paraphernalia. There is a Chenakishava temple of the Hoysala style. An image of Vishnu lies in the Garbhagriya. There are four Ganga temples. Madhugiri, it is 43 km from Tumkur and has a large hill fort. The ancient name of the place is Madhugiri. It has the temples of Venkatamana and Malishwara built by Vijayanagara feudatories. There is also a Malanatha Basadi. The fort has gateways called Antralada Bagilu, Didabagilu, Mysore Gate etc. 19 km from here is another hill fort called Mitageshi. Matakiri or Merkara, known as Scotland of India, Merkara known for its climate. 
It has many places of attraction such as Tala Kaveri, Nagarahol National Park, Abbey Water Falls, St. Mark's Church, Bhagamandala, Kaveri Nisargadama, Belagiri Hills, Thadiyanda Murali Kund, Iguthapa Temple, Irupu Falls and Kafi and Tea Estates. Srirangapatana, it is 14 km from Mysore and it is an island in between two branches of the Kaveri. It was also the capital of the Mysore rulers. There is a Ranganath temple here. The fort here was built in 1454. The Mysore rules made it their capital in 1610 in the days of Raja Wodyar, who took it from the Vijayanagara governor. The Ranganatha temple is called Adi Ranga. Ganjam has Darya Daulat Palace of Tipu and Gumbaz, the mausoleum of Haider and Tipu. Both are impressive structures of Indo-Saracenic style. The palace has paintings, fine woodwork and it houses a museum. Melakote, it is a religious center which attracts lakhs of people during its annual feast Viramudi. The temple was reconstructed in the Hoysala style by Visnuvardhana with the guidance of Ramanujacharya, a Visistadvaitist, in the 11th century. There are Chelavanarayanaswami Temple, Kalyani, Hill Shrine of Lord Narasimha, Thadalamadu, Danushkoti, Academy of Sanskrit Research and many more to visit. The nearest tourist places are Thandanur, Srirangapatna, Karagata, Nagamangala etc., Mahadeshwara Beta, it is 220 km from Bangalore and 142 km from Mysore. It is very close to Eastern Ghats. It is said that a saint called Mahadeshwara, who could ride a tiger, lived and had his gaduj here during the 14th and 15th centuries. The hill is full of thick forests and thousands of pilgrims visit the place. Talakadu, a holy place on the banks of the Kaveri. It is full of sands, carried by the wind from the dried bed of the river. It was the second capital of the Gangas. They built the Pataleshwara and the Marulashwara temples here. Hoysala Vishnuvardhana built Kurdi Narayana temple. Bhadravathi, it is an industrial town in Shimoga district 256 km away from Bangalore, which was earlier known as Benkapura. There is a 13th century Lakshminarayan temple in Hoysala style. An iron and steel works, a cement factory and a paper factory are located on the banks of Bhadra River. Akari, it was a capital town of the Kaladi Nayakas from 1512, and a place is 2 km from Sagara city. The Agorashwara temple is a 16th century monument of great attraction. There is also a Paravathi temple nearby. Kaladi is another place nearby, the original capital. It has the Rameshwara and Virabhadra temples. There is also a museum. Srivanabelgola, it has a statue of Lord Bahabali. The place is an important Jain pilgrimage center and has a long history. The 17-meter high statue of Bahabali is said to be the tallest monolithic structure in the world. It overlooks the small town of Shravanbelgola from the top of the rocky hill known as Indragiri. One can reach this hill after ascending 614 rock-cut steps. Somnathpura, it is the home to one of the best examples of Hoysala temple architecture, the Kasava temple. Jog Falls, the highest waterfalls in India, is located about 30 km from Sagara city, Karnataka. The Sharavati River drops 253 metres in four separate falls known as Rani the Rocket and Raja the Roarer. The highest is the Raja with the fall of 253 metres and a pool below 40 metres deep. The best time to visit is late November to early January. The 50 km long Hyrbazgar Reservoir and the Linganamki Dam regulates the flow of the Sharavati River to generate the hydroelectricity. Mekadatu, it is a picnic spot by the river Kaveri. It tumbles down through a deep ravine, on top of which is a chasm around 5 meters wide. Mekadatu is on Kanakapura Road. Hisaragata, Hisaragata has an artificial lake, a dairy and a horticulture farm. Boating and windsurfing are the other attractions. Also here is the Enradiagrama where young dancers are trained in all disciplines of traditional dance. Shivagang, a hill with four faces, rising to a height of 4,599 feet looks like a Nandi from the east, Ganesh from the west, a Linga from the south and Cobra with it hood spread from the north side. It is accessible by road. Shivanasamudram, the waterfalls, the Ganganchuki and the Barachuki, cascade down 90 meters. These falls are the source of Asia's first hydroelectric power statin called Shimsa. The falls are in full splendor during July-August. The falls are 22 km from the Bangalore. Haganakal Falls, these are also known as the smoking rocks because of the mist. At the bottom of the 90 feet water falls, one can ride in a coracle. 
Devarayanadurga, this is a hill station of Tumkur Road perched at a height of 3,940 feet. A few kilometers from foot of the hills is a natural spring called Namada Chilum. Palaces Bangalore Palace Mysore Palace, also known as Ambavala's Palace Nalnad Palace Rajendra Vilas Jaganmohan Palace Jayalakshmi Vilas Mansion Lalitha Mahal Rajendra Vilas Chelavumba Mansion, Mysore Shivappa Nayaka Palace Darya Daulat Bagh Forts In Karnataka there are thousands of forts, in Kannada called as Kot or Gad or Durga. The forts in Karnataka are belongs to various dynasties, some of them are more than thousand years old. Maliabad Fort Jaladurga Bahadur Bandi Fort Katagara Fort Bidar Fort Basavakalyana Fort Baki Fort Manyaheta Fort Kittor Fort Parasgad Fort Belgam Fort Sandati Fort Ramdurg Fort Bailhungal Fort Huli Fort Gokak Fort Shirasangi Fort Bijapur Fort Gajendragad Fort Korlahali Fort Hemaji Fort Himaguda Fort Mundargi Fort Singadalar Fort Tipapura Fort Nargan Fort Magadi Fort Jamalabad Fort Barker Fort Darya Bahadurgad Fort Kapu Fort Havanor Fort Mergen Fort Sadashivgad Fort Asnati Sandaru Fort Bellary Fort Adoni Fort Kapil Fort Anagundi Fort Kampli Fort Irakalgada Gulbarga Fort Sedam Fort Shapur Fort Ihole Fort Badami Fort Bankapura Fort Savanur Fort Chitradurga Fort Devanahali Fort Banadurga Fort Chanagiri Fort Kavaldurga Fort Basavaraj Durga Fort Uchangadurga Fort Buttakot Fort Anjediva Gudabanda Wajingara Fort Bangalore Fort Bimgad Fort Kamatadurga Pavagada Madakiri Fort Savandurga Makaliturga Banadurga Sanmudagari Vishalgad Nagara Fort Basavaraja Fort Rayadurg Huthridurga Ambajadurga Manjarabad Fort Skandagiri Hosadurga Nagara Fort Satyamangalam Fort Tekalakot Fort Thirthahali Fort Raichur Fort Botanical and rock gardens Lalba Brindavan Gardens Kuban Park The Botanical Garden, University of Agricultural Sciences Karnataka University Botany Garden, Karnataka University Pampavana Garden, Munirabad University of Mysore Botanic Garden, University of Mysore Curzon Park, Mysore Nishat Ba, Mysore Forest Research Center Botanic Garden UTSAV Rock Garden, Shigaon, sculptural garden located near NH4 Pune Bangalore Road, Godagadi Village, Shigaon Taluk, Havri District, Karnataka. UTSAV Rock Garden is a sculptural garden representing contemporary art and rural culture. A typical village is created where men and women are involved in their daily household activities, a unique picnic spot which delights common people, educated and intellectuals. There are more than 1,000 sculptures in the garden of different sizes. It is an anthropological museum. It represents traditional farming, crafts, folklore, cattle herding and sheep rearing.
Topic: <laughs> Hill stations. The hill stations in Karnataka are generally unexplored and more pristine than better known ones in South India. Agumbe, Shimoga district. Kodachadri, Shimoga district. Bailariranga Hills, Chamarajanagar district. Baba Budingiri, Chikamagaluru district. Kemangundi, Chikamagaluru district. Kudremak, Chikamagaluru district. Mulayanagiri, Pushpagiri or Kumara Parvatha. Nandi Hills, Chikabalapur district. Kandadri, Tadiandamal, Talakaveri, Male Mahadeshwara Hills. Hamavad Gopalaswami Betta Ambaraguda Antara Ganj Savandarga Karinja Yetakamari Sitara Betta Bananthimari Betta Skandagiri Devarayanadurga Madugiri Hill Station Malayanagiri Highest Peak Topic National Parks and Wildlife Karnataka in all has 21 wildlife sanctuaries and 5 national parks. Well known among them are Bandipur National Park in Chamarajanagara District, Banargata National Park in Bangalore District, Nagarhol National Park in Mysore District and Kodagu District, Kudremak National Park in Dakshina Kannada and Chikmagalur District, Dandali and Anshi National Park in Uttara Kannada District, Gudavi and Mandagad Bird Sanctuaries and Sharavati WLS in Sagara Talak, Shimoga District, Bailarirangan Hills WLS in Chamarajanagar District, Ranganathitu Bird Sanctuary in Mandya District, Brahmagiri Wildlife Sanctuary and Pushpagiri Wildlife Sanctuary in Kodagu District. Interior dry areas have their own unique wildlife. There are 21 wildlife sanctuaries and five national parks in all. Recently, the Government of India has proposed to the UNESCO to include important ecosystems in the Western Ghats as a World Heritage Site. Two subclusters of natural areas occurring in the list are entirely in the Karnataka region covering several wildlife sanctuaries and some reserve forests. Fragile and exotic ecosystems like Kudremak NP, Brahmagiri WLS, Pushpagiri WLS, Agumbe, Talakaveri WLS, Someshvara WLS figure in this list. As such, the western ghats that run south-north through the Karnataka is considered as one among the 25 biodiversity hotspots of the world. The Nilagiri Biosphere Reserve, also a designated UNESCO Biosphere Reserve, is located at the junction of Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Kerala. Nagarahol National Park WLS and Bandipur National Park and Nugu WLS in Karnataka are included in this biosphere reserve. The state is home to the largest concentration of Asian elephants along Kabini River in Nagarahol and Bandipur parks. These two parks also hold among the most viable population of the highly endangered Indian tiger. Ranabenur Blackbuck Sanctuary in Haveri District is home to one of the largest populations of blackbuck anywhere in India. The Doraji Wildlife Sanctuary and areas in Karnataka like Bellary District, Chitradurga are strongholds of the sloth bear. Karnataka is home to more than 500 species of birds. Wildlife sanctuaries Dandali Wildlife Sanctuary, near to Hubli Darwad 70 km, Uttara Kannada, spread over 834.16 square kilometers. It is the second largest wildlife sanctuary in Karnataka and is contiguous with the Mahavir Sanctuary in Goa. Ghataprabha Bird Sanctuary, small bird sanctuary incorporating the wetland along the river. It was established in 1974 and encompasses an area of 29 square kilometers. Daroji Bear Sanctuary, 15 kilometers from Hampi. Peacock Sanctuary in Bankapura, Shigan Taluk, Bankpur Fort is the second sanctuary in India exclusively engaged in the conservation and breeding of peacocks. It is also home to a variety of other birds. Ranabenor Blackbuck Sanctuary, Haveri District, declared a wildlife sanctuary on 17 June 1974, with a core area of 14.87 km and a buffer zone of 104.13 km for tourists. It is divided into three blocks namely Hulathi, Hunasikati and Alagari for administrative purposes. The vegetation comprises mainly scrub forests and eucalyptus plantations. Other resident fauna include wild pigs, foxes, jackals and wolves. 
Deva Raya Wildlife Sanctuary, near Hampi, Bellary District, a privately owned sanctuary, named after kings of the Vijayanagar Empire. Adivari Bird Sanctuary, near to Hubli Darwad, Uttara Kannada District, spread over an area of about 2.23 square kilometers. The sanctuary is located in and around the Adivari Reservoir. Anshi National Park, Uttara Kannada, a habitat for tigers, leopards, and elephants, about 340 square kilometers in size. Adjoins the Dandali Wildlife Sanctuary. Magadi Bird Sanctuary, Shirahati Taluk, Gadig District. Bhimagada Sanctuary, Belgam District Adichunchanagiri Wildlife Sanctuary Arabithita Wildlife Sanctuary Bailiriranga Swami Temple Wildlife Sanctuary Bhadra Wildlife Sanctuary Brahmagiri Wildlife Sanctuary Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary Melakote Temple Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Mandya District Mukambika Wildlife Sanctuary Nugu Wildlife Sanctuary Pushpagiri Wildlife Sanctuary Sharavathi Valley Wildlife Sanctuary in Sagara Taluk Shetiheli Wildlife Sanctuary Someshwara Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Udupi District Talakaveri Wildlife Sanctuary, this is located in Kotagu District Gudavi Bird Sanctuary, this is located in Shimoga District and is spread over 0.73 square kilometers. The tree species that dominate this sanctuary are Vitex leucoxylon and Philanthus polyphyllus. 191 species of birds are recorded here including white ibis, pheasant-tailed jacana, purple moorhen and little grebe. Mandagad Bird Sanctuary Kagaladu Heronry, this is located in Tumkur district and is one of the largest painted storks sanctuary in South India. Some of the birds that nest here are painted storks, grey herons, pelicans, black stilts and ducks. Kakar Beller Bankapura Peacock Sanctuary, this is located in Havri district and spread over an area of 139.10 acres 0 0.5629 square kilometers. This sanctuary was created mainly for the conservation of peacocks. Bonal Bird Sanctuary, this is located about 10 kilometers from Shorapur city in Yadgar district. Dams and reservoir in Karnataka Topic <coughs> Caves Some well-known caves in Karnataka are Yana Caves and Kavala Caves and Syntheri Rocks in Uttara Kannada district. Sugriva's cave in Hampi holds similarity to the descriptions of Kishkinda in the epic Ramayana. Hundreds of caves in Basava Kalyana in Bidar district. Ihole Badami Cave Temples Gavi Gangadareshwara Temple Nelathirtha Cave Temple Hulamavu Shiva Cave Temple Pandava Caves Mangalore Savandarga Kavala Caves Anthurganj Waterfalls Karnataka has a number of waterfalls. Jog Falls of Sagara Taluk is one of the highest waterfalls in Asia. Some well-known waterfalls are Varapoha Falls, Magad Falls, Lalguli Falls, Sathodi Falls, Unchali Falls, Lushington Falls, Shivaganga Falls, Ulavi Falls, Irupu Falls, Savasamudram Falls near Shivanasamudra, Balmori Falls, Gokak Falls, Abbey Falls, Achakanya Falls, Chunchanakit Falls, Heb Falls, Kalathagiri Falls, Sogal Falls, Godachinamulki Falls etc. Gokak Falls, Gadaprabha River, near Gokak, Belgam district, it drops from 52 meters over a sandstone cliff in a gorge. It is known locally as Mini Niagara. Hydroelectric power has been harnessed at the falls since 1887 to run a cotton mill. Temples near the falls date from Badami Shalukas to later Shalukya times and Vijayanagara periods. A suspension bridge crosses the river. Godachinamulki Falls, Markandeya River, near Godachinamulki, Belgam district. Lushington Falls, Aganashini River, Siddhapur Taluk, 116 meters in height and named after a district collector who discovered them in 1845. 
Magad Falls, Gangavathi River, 125 km from Karwar, 183 m in height, consists of a series of cascades over cliffs Varapoha Falls, Mahadayi River, in the Jambati Forest Topic Eco-tourism The districts of the Western Ghats and the Southern Districts have popular eco-tourism locations. Some of the popular locations include Kudremak, Madakiri and Agumbe. Karnataka boasts of the highest elephant gaur bison and tiger population greater than 6,000, 8,000 and 400 respectively in India. Its forests hold some of the largest remaining populations of the endangered tiger and leopard. Eco-tourism is a very popular activity in the state. Karnataka leads other states in eco-tourism. Jungle Lodges and Resorts, a state-run organization has camping and safari facilities in several wildlife sanctuaries. Private safari providers have sprung up in several places along the Western Ghats. Nirvana Beach is one of the finest beaches near Kumta and has a 5 km coastline with white sand and palm trees covering the entire coast, could be developed for eco-beach tourism on the adjoining land falling in CRZ2 category falling within 200 m from HTL. Farmers and fishermen were allowed to run beach cottages and beach shacks by GOVT, of Goa, tourism department to attract tourists from around the world as well as domestic tourists, in the months of September till May every season. Several NGOs youth groups are actively involved in birding and other conservation activities. Topic adventure and outdoor activities Adventure tourism has been growing at a pace of around 24% in Karnataka. The presence of Nilgiris, Western Ghats, rocky regions, waterfalls and lots of lakes and rivers make it an attractive destination. Certain activities at some regions namely rock climbing at Hampi and Ramnagaram, mountain biking at Nilgiris, rafting at Hunmaradu in Sagara, Bhimeshwari, Dandali and Korg are famous. Besides this Sawandurga, Manchinbele, Feverpitch Base Camp, Bhimeshwari Antharagang are also famous for repelling, river crossing, caving and kayaking. There have been more than 100 places for trekking in Karnataka and many of them are organized by government of Karnataka or government approved local vendors. Seasonal surfing is available in Gokarna and Kop. Fever Pitch Base Camp has been developed by tourism industry professionals which is located 40 km from Bangalore near Magadi. Bile Ghat which is stretch of Western Ghats from Kerala to Gujarat is also famous for trekking and adventurous activities. Farmer's Sun Adventurous Sports Camp near Palia town on the way to Sakleshpur Bile Ghat is also a must place to be visited by any foreign tourists. Farmer's Sun Paintball Arena and other ATV and dirtbike sports are some of the interesting things to do at Hassan. Karnataka Tourism started promoting motorcycle tourism and tied up with Wicked Ride a Bengaluru-based motorcycle rental company to promote adventure and motorcycle tourism as a policy. They are working to set up camping sites across the state to provide safe and clean camping sites for backpackers and motorcyclists to explore the state. Rock climbers visit several areas in Karnataka, Yana, Uttara Kannada Ramanagara, 50 km from Bangalore. Shivagang, Bangalore District Tekal, Kolar District Turahali Forest Hampi Kundi Beta Anthurganj, Kolar Skandagiri, Bangalore Devariyandurga, Tumkur Karadagutta, Magadi Trekking in Karnataka. Some of the most popular treks are Dandali Tadiandamal Trek Korg, Kodachadri Trek Bhimeshwari Trek Kudremak Trek Shakaleshpur Trek Dabi Falls Sagara, Karwar Beach Trek Madugiri Fort Trek Sawandurga Trek Agumbe Rain Forest Trek Makalidurga Trek Kumara Parvatha Trek Pushpagiri Green Route Topic <laughs> <laughs> Healthcare Tourism In the last couple of years Karnataka has emerged as a hot spot for health care tourism in India attracting health tourists from all over the world. Karnataka has highest number of approved health systems and alternative therapies. Along with some ISO certified government owned hospitals, private institutions which provide international quality services have caused health care industry to grow up to 30% during 2004-05. Hospitals in Karnataka treat around 8,000 and more health tourists every year. The Golden Chariot 
The Golden Chariot is a luxury tourist train of Karnataka operated by Indian Railways and KSTDC Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation. Initially train was introduced exclusively for Karnataka, but recently it is expanded to whole South India. The train travels to the Karnataka's tourist destinations like Bangalore, Kabini, Mysore, Baluru, Hailbidu, Srivanabelagola, Hampi, Badami, Patadakal, Ihole and Goa. Train coaches are named after the Karnataka dynasties like Kadamba, Hoysala, Rashtrakuta, Ganga, Shalukya, Bahamani, Adil Shahi, Sangama, Satavahana, Yadakula and Vijayanagar. Topic administration Karnataka Tourism is the popular name of the Department of Tourism, Government of Karnataka website, karnatakatourism.org. Karnataka Tourism is responsible for the sustainable development of tourism in Karnataka along with marketing of the destination worldwide. Karnataka's destination branding and marketing is done by India's leading tourism marketing organization, Stark Communications. Stark is part of the Stark Group under whose umbrella are companies such as Stark Communications, Stark Expo, Starkworld Publishing, Stark Expo, Starkwebworks, Stark Tourism Forum. Karnataka Tourism develops hospitality infrastructure through two government-owned companies, Jungle Lodges and Resorts and Karnataka State Tourism Development Corporation. Topic. See also Tourism in India